It's that time again, Trash Panda Treasures. My name is Carrie, and I am your friendly neighborhood teen librarian from the Rapid City Public Library. And if you're watching this video, you picked flyers for the secondary item in your box this month. We are gonna start with a piece of paper that has a line drawn on it, and we are going to cut right along that line, but do not throw away the smaller sheet of paper. You are going to need it later. Okay, so we're gonna fold in half the long way, make a nice sharp crease on there, open it back up, take the top right corner, and we're gonna bring it to that center line. We're gonna do the same thing to the top left corner, bring it to that center line, nice sharp crease. We're gonna turn it, and then that line that we just made at a diagonal, we're gonna bring that to the center line now. I'm gonna do it on both sides. So this is, you know, pretty standard paper airplane type stuff. There we go. Now I'm gonna take the point that's at the very bottom and I'm gonna fold it up to those diagonal lines. Okay. Then I'm going to take that center line and fold the whole thing in half. Now we have a new diagonal line along the top and we are gonna fold that down. So back towards us um, to the bottom line that we have there. You want those to line up. So nice and straight along the bottom, slightly curved not curved, but slightly diagonal at the top. And do the same thing to the other side. Nice sharp crease. Okay, now we are gonna kind of open up those wings and you can see that center bit there. Um, I am going to put a piece of tape on the flat part of the top, right where all those papers come together and along the bottom, I'm gonna cut straight up. Not all the way across, just a little bit. Start small, because you can always cut bigger, but you can't take it back once you've cut. Then I'm gonna make a diagonal cut that goes right up to it. So we're cutting sort of a triangle shape. That is gonna be where our rubber band is going to hook on to help us launch this. Okay, so with your rubber band between your thumb and forefinger, show you again, thumb and forefinger, spread them apart and then pull all the rest of that rubber band back. If I close it all up, it'll stay put on my fingers so I can hook that end that we cut, sp spread my fingers apart again and let it go. Test flight, here we go in the maker space. Close it up. Gonna try to hook it onto my plane. Fingers apart. Here we go. Yeah, not bad. So, number two, um, we're going to turn our paper on the diagonal and bring the bottom point up to the top point. Unfold twist and do the same thing. So from corner to corner, we want uh, straight lines running across our paper. Then I'm gonna take the bottom point and fold it up to that middle line. Make us a new line, bring the bottom point up to the line that we just made. Then I'm gonna do it again, bring that bottom point up to the line that we just made. Okay, now I'm basically going to wrap this up about eight times. And each time I'm gonna make sure it lays nice and flat and just keep rolling it up and lay it nice and flat, roll it up, lay it nice and flat, roll it up, lay it nice and flat. It won't be on the lines that you folded exactly, but it'll be close and you wanna do that eight times. Now, kind of smooth it out and kind of 
curve your hands a little bit as you do it because we're going to want to mold this into a round shape and those should fit nicely together to give us a loop and because it's so thick right there in that bottom part because we folded the paper so many times it should hold that shape pretty much on its own um, if it doesn't a little bit of tape isn't going to hurt it okay so kind of work it into a a round shape and then remember that sheet of paper that we discarded at the beginning of our first flyer uh, we are going to bring that one back i want you to cut a long thin rectangle out of it and then we're going to make a tape loop and we're going to tape this right over the part where the edges meet so edges come together and then we're going to put a very thin long rectangle now to fly this you're going to hold it on the pointy part and slowly push it forward and it should glide 